What is up y'all, it's Matt here from SubFit Nutrition, doing another great video, as y'all know. It is Friday, let's go. So it is Friday, um, which I'm always happy about, but it is, uh, you know, just another day, we are gonna go to class, um, go work out. We got a back day today, so finally getting to film one of the uh, back days. So that is good. Um, and then just basically go throughout the day. Um, so, but first it's like nine. I have class at 10, so I have to take a shower and get ready for class. Um, that's that. Um, so we're going to roll. But first, I got to change. So, watch this. Three, two, one. Hey -o! Let's roll. Two of my three classes done for the day. Um, I have like a two hour intermission, I guess you what you can call it. Um, so I am back at my place, about to take a nap, and then we're gonna roll out and uh, get the rest of the day finished. Uh, then go get the workout. Um, I had lunch as you saw there, which was two chicken breasts, um, a whole bunch of broccoli, and then a sweet potato. And then right now I'm having one of these Zevia drinks. Uh, I've been trying them out just because like I've been reading a lot on. What is it? Uh, artificial flavors and flavorings and how they're bad for you and all that other good stuff. So I've been trying out these Zevia drinks. They're not too bad. Um, they don't taste exactly like root beer as the flavor is right here. Um, but they are, they're good. They're not bad, but they're good. So <laughs> if that makes any sense. But yeah, um, drink this up, take a nap, and then we are heading back to uh, campus for one more class. I don't know what I'm filming, but... Wow, Clemson invested into an outdoor spin class. What do you know? Alright guys, so I am back from class, and I am currently about to eat a pre-workout meal. Um, so, uh, I've got the basic pre-workout meal right here. This is the bowl of oats. Um, and I'm just going to kind of go over how to make it. So what I do is I usually, um, well, I always, I do use the instant oats. So what I do is I use the instant oats, and then I use a cup. So a measuring cup, and I just use a cup of instant oats. So um, starting off, it'll be just a cup of instant oats. And then what I do is I fill it up with water about maybe halfway above what the oats are. So like... Um, I would just say about uh, twice as much water as the oats. Uh, and then after that, I put stevia in it. So I put two packs of stevia sweetener in it. And uh, then I mix everything up. And after that, I put it into the microwave for five minutes. Now, your microwave may um, fluctuate if you have, like, different um, settings on your microwave as far as the power goes. But our microwave is pretty low power. So um, I put it in there for five minutes. I let it cook until it starts bubbling up to the top. I pull it out and then what I do is I put um, vanilla and cinnamon on it. So um, I actually put a good bit, good bit of cinnamon on it just because I like the flavor of cinnamon. So after that I um, mix up a protein shake which right now I'm using the Quest flavor which is uh, actually pretty good. This is or the Quest brand. It's the um, salted caramel flavor which is actually one of the best proteins I've ever had. So I definitely do recommend it. Um, so then I mix that up and I pour it in there and mix it all up and basically that's how you get the oats um, So this is what the finished product looks like right here um, It's nothing fancy. It's a lot of volume um, high carb uh, Moderate protein really low fat. Uh, so that's really good. So that is that I'm gonna eat this up Then we are going to work out. All right guys So coming at you with another voiceover for this pull workout. This was a back and bicep day so um, I usually don't get to film my back and bicep day, so I'm going to pretty much take you through it. So what we did was um, start off with four sets of uh, pretty much as much as you could do on the pull-up machine. 
um, just to kind of get your back warmed up. Pull-ups are a really great way to um, widen your back. So did that, so about four sets of eight for me. Um, then we moved on over to some upright rows, kind of get a big compound movement in. Um, so the upright rows was another four sets of eight to 12. I believe I did 10. So um, that was another one, just kind of get your lower back, act, not lower back, lower lats activated. Um, so that was that. And then we moved on over to the alternate grip, um, of the pull downs. This, I believe I did eight set or eight reps on. So four sets of eight to 12. Um, this was another one to really help with um, your upper back and the width. Uh, so I really do enjoy this one just because of the alternate grip. Um, and then after that, we moved on over to the um, low machine row. So this is another one for um, your lower lats. Um, this definitely helps out a lot. You definitely feel it in your lower lats. So this is a great one to do. Another four sets of 10 on this. It's an awesome machine to work on. And then we moved on over to another machine. We did the uh, reverse grip pull downs. So this is just for your upper back. It's uh, another really good one. Um, whenever I have that kind of um, reverse grip, as you see right there, it definitely does. Uh, you feel a lot different just because you're so used to using um, the overhand grip. So this one was a really good one um, to use. Also, uh, we went over and did, for the last pulling set, uh, upright row or cable rows, upright cable rows. Um, seated rows, whatever you'd like to call them. Um, trying to not use your thumbs, as you can see, um, just to get more back activation. So that's another really good one. And then we moved on over to biceps. So this is probably one of my favorite bicep movements. Um, this was the cable curls. So the cable curls are awesome because they keep tension all the way up and all the way down. So that's a really good one to do. Um, four sets of 10 on this, I believe. So that was that. And then we moved on over to the final um, final workout, which was the uh, alternating hammer curls. So four sets of 10 on each arm. So uh, usually count to 20. This is another good one. Um, just kind of put mass on your arms. Definitely uh, widen them out. I really do enjoy doing this one, but that's going to be it from me. I hope y'all enjoyed this voiceover for this quick uh, back and bicep day, and uh, don't forget to like the video. Workout is complete. Now we have 25 minutes of the Stairmaster. Ending up the night right here. Um, so basically, got done with 25 minutes cardio, came back, had a post-workout meal, hung out and watched some TV, and that was that. So, um, right now I'm in and off my night, and y'all know how I always end up my night, uh, with a, usually a big meal. So what I'm having is, uh, one of these shareable size, um, peanut butter M&Ms, and then I'm having two Halo Tops. I'm having the birthday cake and the OG, the vanilla bean, right here. So that is going to be that, um, calories ended up like 2200 uh, so a little bit below, but I'll make up for them tomorrow. So that is that. Um, gonna conclude the vlog right here. So y'all don't forget to like it, like like my stuff up, comment, subscribe. Y'all be cool and remember, lift is life. Yeah. I'm on my night job, time's getting hard, so we moving day to day. Fuck with niggas trying to say to me, please. Niggas have never been so crazy. Yeah, yeah. I'm on my night job, time's getting hard, so we moving day to day. What time in the